I'm going to see if I can replace the battery in this VTech baby monitor. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. This is a VTech baby monitor. Specifically, it's a RM5754 HD. Now, I know some of these are pretty similar. This one only has one screw holding in the back here. Some of them have four screws. I think the process to do this is generally the same, but you're going to need a battery and a screwdriver and a spudger basically to pry off the back. Now, I will tell you, I already tried doing this once and I failed. So I may fail again here because I could not get the back off of this thing for the life of me. So I'm not sure if this particular model here is harder than some of the other ones, but we're gonna try it and I'm gonna try it on camera and this could be very embarrassing. So the first thing I wanna show you here is the battery does not last long. And that's probably why you're gonna replace this. I've had this for over a year, 15, 16 months now. And the battery, as soon as I unplug it, you know, it's showing three quarters full here, but this thing will be dead in 30 minutes. And so that's just not that useful to me, especially if you are going to roam around. Now, I actually thought about getting like a portable power bank and just gluing it to the back and then running a cable there. But I thought, you know what? I might be able to just replace the battery here and uh, keep the form factor. So I have an electronic screwdriver here. I'm going to unscrew this. It's just one little Phillips screw. I also went and bought this battery. Now, there are a number of batteries that say they fit on Amazon. This one says 2,000 milliamp hours. So I think that's kind of standard for this. Now, the problem here is that you can see the backing does not just kind of peel away. You can see the scratching where I was trying to get this up and then I was afraid I was just going to break the whole thing, which is definitely possible here. So I don't have a spudger on me. I'm just going to use this big flathead screwdriver so that I don't put too much pressure on anything and just kind of walk it all the way around if I can here. Just trying to pry away the top. I'm kind of surprised that they make it clip together like this, but I suppose it's probably cheaper than requiring a bunch of screws and just having it maybe be less durable. So you can see how I'm kind of gently trying to do this. If you have one of those plastic spudgers, kind of like a big wide one, it's probably going to work a little bit better, but um, you don't have to go out and buy $8 worth of new tools hopefully to do this. It is probably gonna leave some markings and make the monitor a little worse for wear if you're not super careful about it, but I think most of us just want it to work. We don't really care how it looks like. At least that's what my wife told me on our wedding day. So this panel right here that seems to have a couple of clips that are a little harder to get off. I just wanna be gentle, not too impatient with the process. All right, that seems like the last piece there. Okay, now if I open this up, one thing I want to say here is this battery looks a lot bigger than the replacement one. That's interesting. I mean, by the numbers, this thing should work, but man, the stock battery looks significantly more impressive than the one I just got here. So what I'm going to do, as you can see the monitor still on, it looks like the power button would be right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and hold that down and make sure that this thing is off turning off of before I remove anything. And you can see the little plug for the battery is right here. It doesn't look like there's any clips holding it in or anything. So I'm just gonna try to pull it out gently. Don't break anything, this is, there we go. Okay, now it is glued to the back of the monitor here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and give her a spudger. It's not that hard. I want to just take a look. This is a 2100 milliamp hour battery. So about the same. This battery is actually going to be slightly lower capacity, but hopefully that won't really matter. And one thing I do want to show you here is when you put this in, you can see there are five silver connectors on the top and then no connectors visible on the bottom. So what I want to do here is make sure that connector is the same. So the silver connectors will be up. So I'm just going to put this back in here just like this. Okay, now that that's in, and you can just figure out how to put this in. That won't crimp cables too much. Just like this. And you can see there's double-sided tape there. It's not overly sticky. It's a little old and cooky in there. So now I'm just going to go ahead and press everything back down. It's probably easier on a flat surface. I'm going to start with the end with the control panel, just because that seemed to be the hardest. You know, press all that back together first, and then walk it 
down the far end here. All right. There the pass in. Okay. Just gonna manhandle it a little bit. Put the screw back in. Let's see if this thing will work again. It's not plugged in, so I definitely know for sure if it is working, it's purely on the battery. All right, moment of truth. Power button right there. Holds down. Oh, so far looking good. Hopefully it doesn't start fizzing and burning. Smoke pouring out of this thing. And looks like it has established connection back to the baby monitor. So that is great news. It's funny that it's saying that the battery is 75% charged because it probably is. It's not fully charged coming out of a package like that. But now at least I know I have a fresh battery in there. So my hope is that this thing is going to last more than the 20 or 30 minutes that this battery was lasting. And if it lasts, you know, the full hour and a half, two hours that the original battery was lasting, man, I'll be so happy. It'll be much, much easier to monitor the baby without having this thing plugged in all the time. So if you want to replace the battery, I'll put a link to this battery, at least for this model, but definitely check the listings to make sure that your model is listed on that battery on Amazon. One of the easiest ways to do it is just put in the model number of the VTech monitor that you have in the word battery, and then it will usually give you the best result. So that's all you need in this. Peter Von Panda, out. We can stop more and explore so much deeper.